Okay, this is Michael again. Uh, this is a side view. I put him next to a, a much more seasoned lefty on the bottom. Uh, lefty on the bottom is uh, 11 years old. Uh, lefty up top, 7-8-U. So one of the things I see right away, and we did address this uh, in today, is the, uh, the closed stance. You want to stay away from that foot being closer to the plate than this foot. Uh, it naturally stops the hips from turning. Um, have there been major leaguers that have been successful with a closed stance? Yes, there have been. Um, but they use uh, extreme posture and leverage that only a grown man can use with core, the kind of core strength that they have. These little guys don't have that kind of core strength to support proper rotation with a closed stance. So we definitely want to open him up uh, in his stance here. So we did that a few times later on, and I think he had some more success. Um, I'd like a little bit more athletic bend in the knees, too. Just something that's, uh, you know, a little bit more, uh, uh, I don't like saying this word, but balanced. Something that more resembles like a deadlift or something that you're going to, uh, some kind of compound movement that you're going to perform in the gym. Uh, anytime you can get in a strong position like that, you're going to be able to use the ground and uh, use the most force you can. So we'll let him roll a little bit here and uh, see what else we can get to here. I love the fact that he attempts, he's doing a couple of good things. He, uh, he's attempting to get to the lever position. In doing that, though, he barrel loads far too much. We want to see that barrel load, um, that stretch position, about there, and then the barrel should be about there, and the arm should be a little bit straighter. The arm being this one, and the barrel being here, okay? But what Michael's doing here, it's going to make it harder for And Look, I, I get the effort, and I, I applaud it. I think it's great that he's understanding, you know, the basics of, of how to create bat speed, and that's great. But it's too much for him right here. That's just too much of a load because he's got to come all that way now, and that's just too far. I love the flexion and impact. That's great. I can tell that he's doing a lot of really good things. That front side pull, he never really gives up on that front side pull until about there. There's ever so slight flexion in that lead arm there. And uh, he's turning through with his hips there a little late, but turning nonetheless. Extension after impact there. And again, we talked about that finish being a little too high. I'd like to see it down on the ground a little bit more. And I'd love to see that front ankle roll a little bit instead of move. He's kind of catching himself with his front foot. And again, that's a product of staying straight up and down and not over the plate. Okay? So I want to get to impact. Actually, I want to get to um, where he begins to load up and just show you, uh, you know, somebody that does use the ground extremely well in what they do, and, and then maybe we can take some cues from there. So he has a very small leg lift. And his shin angle is straight up and down. The shin angle being the rear foot right here, okay? I would like to see that knee inside his heel, much like I see it down here. See his heel? His knee is inside that heel there. Uh, Michael is straight up and down. And the reason why we do that is kind of uh, revealed to him with the posture part. When I stick his foot on the posture part, his knee is naturally then inside his foot. So when he picks up that front foot, he's going to fall forward. So let's uh, see how the youngster down here does that. He rolls his foot up there, his nice little leg lift, and Michael's up and down almost immediately. Okay. So he's seeing a ball coming in that's thrown, whereas Michael's hitting one off the tee. And what you'll see here, after the leg lift, look again, that incredible shin angle that this guy has, and Michael's still kind of straight up and down when he starts his swing. You'll see Michael open his hips as he swings instead of opening them early. That's something that we're going to work on by hitting that medicine ball that we talked about and how it was set up today. If you can get him to just hit that medicine ball as hard as he can, that would be fantastic. Uh, soccer ball kicks are another one. Try to kick field goals. Any, anytime you can pop your hips, that's great. You're going to see the youngster, if you focus in down here, you're going to see the youngster's hips right here just open almost immediately. All right there before he even thinks about moving his hands. You see his hips are open. When he touches down, he has his foot slightly open, and that foot is always a window into what the hips are doing. So when we have Michael touch down, his foot is closed slightly, and his hips are closed. You see the difference at touchdown right here, okay? 
So we would like to see Michael open a little bit. He can do that by maybe just introducing his knee to being open at touchdown a little bit and maybe introducing his foot to be open at touchdown a little bit. And that will maybe free up these hips a little bit to be open a little earlier. Okay. So as we see him slam into the ball here, again, pretty good. We move down here, we're going to see that move into the ball just a turn with flexion and impact. Okay. Again, he keeps that lever as long as he can. And Michael attempts to do the same. Let me clear this up real quick. Oops, sorry about that. Michael doesn't really offer any flexion in that lever until about there. So that frame, he's still straight. That frame, he's a little flexed, okay? Same thing from this guy. And that's all good stuff. It's just that this guy is definitely over the plate. Look at the angle of his head over his knees versus Michael being straight up and down, okay? And once he hits that ball, you'll see the youngsters very extended with his hands, as illustrated right here. Whereas the younger guy tries to fight not to do that. He's just turning through. Turn, turn, turn. There's that long D cell that I like very much. I would like to see Michael do something like that here instead of there, because he's just locked right there. If I pushed him, he would fall over right there because he's just straight up and down, whereas this guy's already falling over the plate when he's done. You'll see that residual fall right there. Okay? Again, just a little video to illustrate where we are, okay, and maybe where we want to go, okay? Let me move him back here. But for day one, this is outstanding. And we're hoping that sometime down the road, we're going to get to where he's here. Okay, and that's it.